Yo, what's up, people? Elliot coming at you. This is Rideshare Daily, episode 57. And I uh, want to talk a little bit about the socialization of Uber drivers. When I say socialization, I'm not talking about social media. I'm not talking about online. What I'm talking about is drivers driving and interacting with other drivers on the road and drivers um, going to locations where they are either picking up or waiting or dropping off and interacting with uh, other rideshare drivers, taxi cab drivers, limousine drivers, uh, people who work at the locations where they're at, police, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So your interactions as a driver. Now, this video is going to be heavy on opinion. Heavy on opinion. I tend to think my opinion is valuable when it comes to this because I don't have any problems in this area that it seems like many other drivers do have. So let me explain why. I have a mentor that taught me a long time ago, mind your own business. Mind your own business can have multiple meanings, right? So, mind your own business can mean stay out of other people's business. Mind your own business can mean think about your business, your own situation, circumstances, etc. Or mind your own business can be make sure you're paying attention to your business, focused on your business. So what I'm talking about when I say mind your business is this. Most drivers get into rideshare, whether it's with Uber or Lyft or whoever else, for money. Bottom line is, if I wasn't getting paid to drive, I wouldn't be driving. And people ask you sometimes when they get in passenger, oh, you really like driving, huh? You must love driving. All the trips that you've done, you must really like driving. Not really. I like driving for money because I need money to pay my bills, handle business, do what I got to do. In this world, economic means come by currency, by money. So I got to get it. And the way that I get it, the way that I choose to get it is through driving. So... I drive passengers for money, which means that I make money when I'm driving passengers. I know this sounds extremely simple, but a lot of rideshare drivers don't get this. They think they make money when they have the app on their phone. They think they make money when they go online on the app on their phone. They think they make money when they're online driving around, waiting for a request. They think they make money when they have their app on and they're stopped somewhere waiting for a request or when they're stopped somewhere and they're talking to other drivers, socializing, hanging out, making friends, getting to know uh, people in their city or talking to cops or talking to, to employees of businesses, etc. They think that they're handling their business in rideshare. They're not. That's not making money. The only time that you're making money in this business is when you're driving passengers, right? So if you're in it to make money, minding your business means you shouldn't be concerning yourself with anything else that's going on outside of you driving passengers. That's my philosophy on it. That's my thinking on it. That's my strategy and my methodology on it. I'm not in rideshare to meet a bunch of other drivers in my city. I didn't get into rideshare to make friends. I didn't get into rideshare to talk to police officers who were, you know, downtown. I didn't get into rideshare to talk to the, the girl sitting on the horse carriage waiting for her passengers. 
I didn't get into rideshare to talk to the employees of the, the businesses everywhere around unless there's a transaction that can be made. You know, I'm selling them something. So, and again, that's the transaction I'm interested in if I can sell them something, not if they can sell me something. Um, so, in this business, my personal feelings, thoughts, attitude on getting out of your vehicle and socializing with people outside your vehicle is that that is not making money. That's not the way that you make money. That's not a good strategy for making money unless you're building relationships with them to make money some other kind of way, right? And from what I've seen of other drivers, whether they're they're going back and forth arguing with a taxi cab driver because they both feel like they're the they're the bomb.com and they own that block or that corner or they have the right or they're going to get their that's all stupid who cares about i don't care nothing about that the only thing i care about when i get in my vehicle to go make money and i turn my app on is getting passengers in my vehicle so that i can drive them where they need to go because that's the only thing that makes money when you're on the road so that's it like when it comes to getting out and getting to know somebody and all of that like i guess if you're lonely i guess you know if you need friends or you're trying to make friends or you're a social butterfly and you got other things going on in your life and you just feel like meeting people and connecting with them and networking with them and building with them and inviting them or you know listening to them or whatever like whatever you want to do by all means do you but as a business owner in the rideshare business, when I say you ought to be minding your business, what I'm saying is you ought to be driving passengers and focused on finding out how you can drive more passengers. Drive more passengers, more places, on longer trips, for longer periods of time, and have less time during your day when you don't have passengers in your vehicle. The only reason you see that I'm the only person in this vehicle right now is I stopped, pulled over, turned my apps off to make this video for y'all because I could care less what any other driver in my city is doing. I'm not going to the green light hub. I don't spend time at Lyft events. I don't go to the airport parking uh, wait area for ride share to talk to other people. It's not that... Uh, they're not decent people it's that that's not why i'm in this i'm in this to make money so i would recommend if you're in this to make money that you mind your business focus on what you have to do to keep passengers in your vehicle as much as possible driving them from one place to another that's it so Again, you might be younger, you might be single, you might be super social or whatever and got other things going on or you're not interested in making money, you're interested in meeting people. Maybe this is a, a, a way to hook up, a way to connect, a way to meet people. I don't know. I've never spent any time doing that. The only people that I spend any time with in this business are my passengers and the people who join my free video training course who I can train and the people who I do one-on-one -on -one coaching and consulting with. That's it. Because I'm only interested in exchanging value, meaning that I'm providing them something and in return they're providing me with money. That's why I'm in this. So why are you in this? If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, Hit the subscribe button below. Hit the little bell for the notifications. Like, share, comment. If you have questions, comments, whatever, leave them below. I do respond quickly. If you haven't signed up to drive yet and you want to sign up to drive, uh, links are below in the description. Also, my free video training link is there in the description as well. So uh, check it out and take a look at some of my other videos we have until february 20th i need 183 more subscribers on the channel so i'm coming at you guys every day providing as much value as i can uh talking about anything and everything rideshare again this is rideshare daily episode i think 57 we'll see peace